Welcome to our lesson on triple integrals using cylindrical coordinates. The goal is to set up and evaluate triple integrals using cylindrical coordinates. In the cylindrical coordinate system, a point P in space, as we see here modeled below, is represented by an ordered triple R theta Z, where R theta is the polar representation of a point in the XY plane, where R is a directed distance from the origin in the XY plane, as we see here, Theta is the angle counterclockwise from the polar axis or positive x-axis in the xy plane as we see here. And z is the directed distance up or down from r theta to the point p. We also need to be familiar with the formulas used to convert between cylindrical and rectangular coordinates as we see here and here. So if you don't already have those in your notes, you may want to write those down. Now let's talk about converting a triple integral in rectangular form to cylindrical form. The first thing we should notice here is that f of x, y, z must be written as f of r theta, r sine theta, z. So to convert the rectangular equation to a cylindrical equation, we replace x with r cosine theta, y with r sine theta, and z remains z. And just as in we were dealing with polar coordinates, differential v gives us an extra factor of r and then dz, dr, d theta. So if the solid region of integration can be easily defined by using cylindrical coordinates, the result of the triple integral is, is often much easier to evaluate. And when converting from rectangular to cylindrical coordinates, the x, y, x, z, and y, z traces are often helpful. Let's go and take a look at our first example. We want to integrate f of x, y, z over the solid region v bounded by z equals zero and z equals four minus the square root of x squared plus y squared. Let's look at this graphically. So our region of integration is the solid region inside this cone above the yellow plane. So z equals four minus the square root of x squared plus y squared is this cone here. and z equals zero is this plane here. If we wanted to sketch the x, y trace, we'd take this equation here and replace z with zero. So if we did that, we could move this square root to the other side and then square both sides. That would give us x squared plus y squared equals 16. So we'd have the circle here centered at the origin with a radius of four. So this would be four for negative four and negative four. Let's see if we can use this information to set up our triple integral using cylindrical coordinates. Well first our function f of x, y, z is equal to x squared plus y squared. Well x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So we'd have r squared. Then remember differential v gives us an extra factor of r dz dr d theta. So for the limits of integration for z, we can see that z starts at zero and goes up to the surface. So the lower limit is going to be zero. The upper limit is going to be the surface here. And since r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, we'd have four minus the square root of r squared, or just four minus r. And then to determine the limits of integration for r, we can take a look at the x, y trace. We can see that the radius r starts at zero and goes out to positive four. And then for theta, because we want this entire cone, we would start at zero and rotate all the way around to two pi. So the lower limit for theta would be zero, and the upper limit would be two pi. So our integrand is going to be r cubed. And then we have dz, dr, d theta. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on the next slide. Integrating with respect to z, r is treated as a constant. So we'd have r cubed z. Now we'll replace z with four minus r and then zero. So we'd have r cubed times four minus r. And then when z is zero, it'd be zero. Let's go ahead and distribute here. We'll have four r cubed 
minus r to the fourth. And now we'll integrate with respects to r. It's going to have four times r to the fourth over four. It's going to give us r to the fourth. And we'll have minus r to the fifth over five, or one fifth r to the fifth. So when we sub in r equals two, we're going to have 16 minus, this will be 32 fifths. And then again, when r is zero, these will both be zero. 16 minus 32 fifths, that'll be 48 fifths. Now we integrate with respect to theta. So we have 48 fifths times two pi. Put this over one, it's gonna give us 96 pi fifths. Let's go and take a look at another one. Here we want to integrate f of x, y, z equals one over the solid region V bounded by z equals zero, x squared plus y squared equals one, x squared plus y squared equals four, and z equals four minus the quantity x squared plus y squared. Let's start by taking a look at a graph of this. So our region of integration is between the two cylinders, below the blue surface, and above the yellow plane. So let's go ahead and set this up using the cylindrical coordinates. Before we do that, let's go ahead and label a few things. Before we do that, let's go ahead and label a couple things here. This surface here in blue is z equals four minus the quantity x squared plus y squared. If we take a look at the x, y trace, the smaller circle here is x squared plus y squared equals one. And this larger circle is x squared plus y squared equals four. So this time f of x, y is equal to one. So differential v is just going to be r dz dr d theta. And now for the limits of integration for z expressed as a function of r and theta, going back to this graph here, we know now we can replace x squared plus y squared with r squared. So z is going to start at zero, this yellow plane, and then go up to the surface, which will be four minus r squared using the cylindrical coordinates. And then for r, looking at the x, y trace, we're integrating over the solid region between these two cylinders. So r is gonna be from one on the red circle to two on the black circle. And then for theta, we wanna go all the way around the circle, so it's gonna be from zero all the way to two pi again. And we're gonna see in the next video, when f of x, y, z is equal to one, as we see here, this triple integral will actually give us the volume defined by these limits of integration. Let's go ahead and first integrate with the specs to z. So because r is treated as a constant, we'll have rz. So we're gonna replace z with four minus r squared, and then with zero. So we're gonna have r times four minus r squared, that'll be four r minus r cubed. And then when z is zero, this will be zero. Let's go ahead and finish this on the next page. Integrating with respects to r, that's gonna give us four times r squared over two, or two r squared, minus r to the fourth over four, or one fourth r to the fourth. And we replace r with two, here we're gonna have eight minus, this will be two to the fourth, it's gonna give us 16 divided by four, that's four, minus, and then when r is one, we'll have two minus one fourth. It's gonna be four minus one and three fourths. That's gonna give us nine fourths. We'll have nine fourths times two pi minus zero. 
This will be 18 fourths pi or, or 9 halves pi. And again, because f of x, y, z was equal to 1, this actually does give us the volume defined by the limits of integration. In the next video, we'll discuss more about determining volume using triple integrals. I hope this was helpful.